hi everyone. So my name is Lily. I'm a graduate fine artist and I am a art teacher at Canvas Club and you're joining me for a free draw and paint along. Cool. So today we are going to draw a magical castle. You guys can see there's the magical castles. Okay. But what's even more magical than drawing magical castles? It's the story about magical castles. So behind these doors and windows and walls, there's quite an interesting story. Hey, don't you think, guys? So if you are joining me to draw, a magical castle. I want you to already think what story you're going to tell. So this one of mine is actually set in the winter snowy parts of the South Pole. And there's a big guy with a long beard who lives in this castle. Yes, that's my story for this one. And this castle hmm, is a family of mice that live there. So if you're joining me and you're excited to draw a magical castle, also think and let me know what story yours is going to tell. Maybe it's a bit haunted. Maybe some of you guys like being in a haunted castle. Please let me know what your ideas are and stories are for your castles. I'm going to do some shout outs still. Hi, my sister's daughter is entering today. Kiara, she's 10, from Dispatch in Eastern Cape. Welcome. Also fellow South African. We've got Nathan and Daniel from the UK. We've got Mal from Canada. Izzy from the UK. Lily from the UK. Wow, guys. We've got Monica from the UK. I love this. Okay, so are you guys ready to draw and paint? Okay. If you're ready, do an air high five. Awesome. Okay, so first... If you're feeling all arty like me, you can put an apron on, okay? Or any sort of old shirt that you've got. Because if you are going to draw and paint, it's really nice to just not be scared to mess on yourself. Okay, so I've got my apron on, canvas club, okay? And then you've got your page, okay? Don't stress if you don't have a perfect white page. You can even use the back of a gift wrap paper, brown paper, any sort of paper that you've got at home, okay? Because we want to draw and paint. So grab any sort of paper that you have at home. You can put it on the floor. You can put it up on the wall like me. You can put it on the table, wherever you feel comfortable, okay? Then next, if you've got something to draw with, guys, a Sharpie, marker, a pencil. I'm going to use pastels. Okay, I love pastels. If you've got crayons, anything you can draw with. Okay, super easy. So quickly, if you want to, you can even pause me and you can go grab your stuff. Okay, <laughs> I can't pause myself. So let's grab our things we're going to draw with. So who's got ideas already of magical castles? Let me know and then I can click on your comments. There's one. Wait, let me see. I'm clicking. There we go. Kiara's story of the castle is about Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. Awesome. Okay, I'll look at some just now. So grab whatever you're using to draw. Okay, next up. Where's your hands? Okay, this is my hand. Look what I'm doing. I'm putting one hand on my left side. Okay, make a little mark there. You see that little, little mark, I'll make it a bit, bit bigger. It's just a little line. So where my hand was, just a little line. Okay. I would advise keeping your paper vertical, but you can also make it landscape or horizontal. Okay. So there's no right or wrong with that. I'm just making mine nice and tall because I've got tall towers coming up. Okay. So look again, make a little line. Cool. Then you're actually going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so put your hand where the paper starts. Okay, just there and make a little line again. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a square in the middle of your page. That's basically what we're trying to do. Okay, 
So now, a square, okay, doesn't have to be a perfect square, okay, it's just the sort of shape we're going for. So look what I'm doing. You're going to make a square by using these guidelines. You can go a little bit upper, maybe up until like a third of your page. Start going straight, then where this line is going to come and connect it. See where I've stopped, go down, okay. Now I'm going to make my square, might even start looking like a rectangle, okay. So there we go, it's almost a square, just need to be completed. There we go. Okay, that's an easy trick how to make something in the middle of your page using your hands, okay. So if you've got something like that, we're already there. Great, who's got a square? I want to see more stories. What are you going to make? Izzy, her castle is for her unicorn and her horse story. I love that. So I'm going to want to see some unicorns in the background. <laughs> okay. So next up, if you've got your square, everyone, we're going to add our towers. So I'm going to use a different color, actually. I'm using my pastels. Okay. What you're going to do on the sides, doesn't matter which side you're going for. You can also decide to make one tower, three towers. I'm just showing you some ideas. Okay, so look. I'm going to start at that end. I'm going to make a longer line up, but not all the way up, okay, because then my towers aren't going to be on my page. So leave space for the roof and maybe some other decorations. Okay, so I'm going up. And then I'm going to go to the side, but not all the way. You can also go all the way, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to come down, okay, all the way down. And I'm making a sort of rectangle. Okay, see, quite simple. Now I'm just going to do the same on the other side for another tower. Okay, so look what I'm doing. I'm starting there to give me a little bit of a guide. I'm going to go up. Maybe this one I'm going to make a bit shorter. It doesn't have to be the same height as that one. Okay. It's your creative freedom to decide what you want to do. Okay. Now we're going to go with the line straight and I'm going to come down. Okay. Up until my square. I'm going to close it up. Then we've got two towers. Now I want to make a tower in the middle. Okay. I want to make a tower. So look where I've started. Okay, anywhere in the middle of your square, I'm going up and I'm making another, uh, there we go, sort of rectangle shape for another tower. How cool, our castles are coming to life. Okay, I'm going to change my color. Why I'm changing colors? Because then you can see the different things I'm doing, but also when we're going to paint, they're going to pop up from my paint. Okay, that's a little art trick called resist. Okay, so next up, we can add some things that you might see on this one. We're going to add the roof. Okay, so you can make little triangle roofs. So look, I'm starting at that side, making a triangle at the top. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you again. Remember, you can also pause me. Okay and watch me closely. So I'm going to do one in the middle one. Okay, there's a little triangle up and we're coming down. Okay, I'm going to do it again for this one for all of you to watch and see. So look, we're making a slant line and then we're going to make it come down. How cool is that? Okay, I want to see. Ooh, I love these ideas. A descendant's castle. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, next up, I'm going to add some windows. So ideas, please, I want to see your pictures with your amazing ideas also. So my windows, you can make squares, little squares. Did you watch me there? Okay, and then I'm making a little cross in the middle. We know those little windows. Then you also get ones that are a bit more curved. Did you watch me there? Curved line, connect it, and make a little cross in the middle. Okay, so you can decide if you want lots of little windows, 
Maybe your dungeon castle doesn't have windows. Maybe it's got big windows where you can watch the countryside. Okay, remember the story we're also telling. So I'm going to add some windows here. I love windows because you can see the view. Okay, I'm going to add two more on this side. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to add a door. So I'm changing colors again. Okay, so I'm going to make like this guy a big door. And I'm saying big because it opens up like Okay, see, I'm telling you guys a story. So let's see. I'm going to make a big curved line door. Okay, so watch me here. It's going to go up. It's going to go curved. And there we go. Okay, if you want to add details, I've just added an extra frame. So I went inside and I just copied my line. So it's sort of like a frame for my door. Okay, then you can add little details for your door. Maybe it needs a doorknob or like a keyhole. Okay. This is where you guys need to make it your own also. Okay, I still want to hear what kind of castles are you guys making. If you've just joined us, let me know where you're joining from and say hi. Okay, cool. I'm going to add some flags. Okay, so flags, I'm going to put one on top here. So I'm just making a little line. Look at that. And then a triangle to the side. Okay, there's a little flag. And then this guy is going to get a flag, a short little flag. There's a line up and a triangle. Okay, so you can add any sort of things now. I'm also going to show you how, let me just choose a color. Okay, this color. How to make a little cute border. Okay, I did realize I didn't add the wall. So you can also just add some walls. By making lines continuing from the page. Okay, summer makes a unicorn castle. I love it. Okay, so let's quickly complete our wall if you want to. It can also be floating. Okay, again, so many ideas, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the cute little border. Okay, I'm doing this. You don't know what I'm doing. Look. Okay, so I'm going. At the side, and I'm going to make a line straight, and I'm going down. Then I'm going straight, and I'm going up. Okay, so that's the rhythm we're going to do. So I'm going straight, going down, going straight, going up. Okay, I'm going to do it again with you guys. Okay, we're going straight, going down, going straight, going up. So that's what you're going to do to make your whole border. And don't worry, like me, you're going over your tower because you can color it in, you can paint on it. Ooh, there goes my pastel. That's fine. We'll just use the bit. Okay, so that's the border like that guy that we've made. Okay, if you want to color it in using your coloring things, you can. Then you won't see the background of your tower. Okay, so I'm going to color mine in a little bit just so we can see it. Remember, you can add this anywhere on your castle to give it some decoration. Okay, I'm coloring it in. This is so nice. So remember, whatever you have at home, if it's markers, sharpies, pencils, crayons, pastels, use what you've got, okay? It's so fun to just be creative with what you've got. Awesome, Henry wants a dinosaur in his castle. Oh yes, I love it. What else do we have? Ryan will make a castle for, let's see, castle for a princess and it will have fireworks. Amazing, okay, cool. So next up, we are going to add a little bit more to tell the story of our castle, okay. So we can do some bricks. I'm going to use the orange again. So like this, you can see there's some bricks showing. What I've done is I've just made squares 
put little bricks. You can even try and make a square sort of next to it. Okay. So I'm going to make a square over there, brick shape. Maybe one that's sort of hiding on the side. Okay. You know when the edge of your page. Okay. I'm going to make a little brick on that side. There we go. And if you want to add one, you can sort of go around it. You can also use a lighter color like me, the yellow, and use a darker color to paint over. That's the resist okay, that I spoke about. So that's some details. Let me just see what else. No, now we're going to the background. Okay, you can still use your crayons. Yes, it's quite hot in Cape Town. I know. <laughs> so we're going to decorate our backgrounds, but this is where it's really important. What's your story? Okay, so this one of mine, snowy mountains in the middle of the South Pole. Okay, this one, look here, it's got some trees, it's probably in the forest. Okay, there's a sun. Okay, so that's the background. So decide, what do you want? Maybe those of you who are doing Unicorns, maybe you want to put a rainbow there. Okay, I think I'm going to make a rainbow in my background here. So let me see what colors do I have. I'm going to use a bit of yellow. Okay, and I'm going to make a rainbow coming out here. So it's got a curve. Can you guys see? The yellow is a bit difficult to see, but you'll see now. Okay, I'm making a curved line. My rainbow, look what's coming down there. Okay, I'm going to add a different color. I've got some green. So add some green for your rainbow. So look, anywhere it can pop up. Curved line, you can color it in. Okay, another color for my rainbow. Let's see, I'm going to choose some red. Okay, put a rainbow there. So what else are you guys putting in your backgrounds? Let me know. I'd love to know what ideas are popping up. Okay, if you're making mountains, I think I'm going to make a mountain on this side. So if you're making mountains, I'll show you. You're going to go triangle shape again, sort of. So you're going to go up and then you're going to go down. So try and lift off where you've already drawn and then make a line again. Okay, now I'm going to make a mountain again, go up, there we go, it's going to be behind my tower, so I'm not drawing, and then it's coming out on the side, there we go, okay, I'm going to make another mountain, there we go, and it's going down, okay, if you want to add some snowy bits, I'm just coloring it in a bit like that, with the snow at the top, Okay, so anything, anything you love, you can add as the background. Let me know what you're adding in the background. I'd love to see. Ooh, the night, that's beautiful. I love that. Okay, now the foreground. Okay, so this guy has a little pathway, maybe to the forest. Okay, this guy has a little pond over there. And here's a little garden area. Okay, so what are you gonna add in your foreground? Maybe you wanna put a little path. I'm gonna draw a little path, okay. Little green grassy path over here. So if you wanted to follow the door, start at the side of the door, and then you make wherever your path is going, okay. And then I'm gonna do it on this side, and it's following up there, okay. Now I'm going to make some flowers, okay, because I think there's a cute family staying in this castle, okay, a family of 20, why not? And they have a beautiful garden of roses, so I'm going to draw some roses, there we go, a rose garden, okay, some roses over there. Okay, so let me know what's in your foreground. What ideas do you have? Ooh, we're still lightning and rain. Yes, I love that. How would you draw lightning and rain? I'd love to see your pictures and so send it, hey? Eh? Love to see what you guys come up with. And that's why you're gonna share your photos, okay? 
But first, let's complete our drawing. So we're still drawing. We're almost going to start painting. If you don't have paint, don't stress. Just color it in nicely, okay? So don't worry. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to start painting. Okay. Whew. Who of you guys are so excited to show me what you're doing? Yay! Okay. So let's see. So I'm using, let me just get it here to show you guys. I'm using tempura paints. Okay, it's a sort of a watercolor paint. So it's not a thick paint. So you use a lot of water. Okay, so I've dunked my brush in a lot of water. And then you press it hard, okay, to get the colors. Let me know what kind of paint you've got at home. Maybe you've got acrylics. Maybe you've got inks. Maybe you also have watercolors like me. Okay, so now I'm going to finish up my castle. So I'm going to paint some of it, certain colors. So this one, let's see, I'm going to paint the middle a bright pink. Okay, so look there. Using a medium-sized brush, okay, so that I can still get into those tiny little edges. Did you see there? Nice. But also big enough so you won't take hours to paint a certain part of your castle. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Needing some more water. Okay. So I'm making a bright pink wall, but I'm going to use a few colors. Okay, so you're also deciding what sort of colors are you going to use for your castle. Okay, then my sides, the towers. So look, getting all those colors nice. Painting pens. Oh, those are fun. Okay. So now I'm going to do my towers, a bright yellow. So look again, the size of my brush is great because it just gets into those little corners, but it's not too big to actually cover up the entire area. Okay, so look, I'm coloring in. There we go, I'm gonna do the other side. So this tower, okay, I'm not dripping, that's great, but if you're messing and dripping, that's part of the fun, okay, and I'm going to show you just now, I've got a little special cloth that I use, that's my painting cloth to dab if you're going to make it all drippy, okay, I'll show you mine quickly, here's my special painting cloth, okay, what you can do if you've dripped, you can catch your drips. You can also pat it dry, okay, if you're maybe at a class and you need to take it home and needs to dry, but you can tap it dry, okay. So this is an old piece of fabric that I've, you can see, I've used a multiple, a multiple of times, okay. So this will become your painting fabric or painting cloth, okay. So if you don't have one, you're going to get one, okay. Any sort of old, even an old t-shirt, Okay, use anything that you're basically going to throw away. Okay, so I'm going to paint a little bit more, guys. So I'm using my purple. What am I going to make purple? Let me make the middle tower a purple. Okay. So there, I'm actually going to leave my window white. So if you want to do that, that's a little trick. Okay, let me take some different colors. So I've got another palette. I'm going to use the purple, dark purple, to make the little roofs. Roofs. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there you see it's dripping a little bit. I'm just catching it. There we go, and then I'm gonna do this one. There we go. Okay, and guys, take your time when you're gonna paint yours. You want it to look beautiful and amazing. 
There we go. I'm putting some extra color over it because it was a little bit light. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush. So let's see. I need to do those walls. Let me do the walls of pink as well. Okay. So I still want to hear ideas. Hi. Seven years old from the US. Awesome. Someone saying it's so much fun. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. Who else is having fun? Let me know in the comments and say I'm having fun. I'd love to hear. There we go. There's the wall painted. So if you guys used crayons, wax crayons, pastels, you would see if you paint over it, it's popping out. Okay, do you see it's popping out the blue and the orange there from the colors when I'm painting? And that technique is called paint resist. Okay, so you're also learning a very cool technique if you've got some crayons like that and some watercolor paints. Okay, let me do the next thing. What do I have to color in? So I'm checking the comments. So much fun, Safari. I hope you're painting with. You're gonna send us a picture. Okay, I'm gonna do the door. So this takes a little bit more concentration. If you've got a tiny brush, which I've realized I don't have my tiny brush, but I'm acquainted with trying to go tiny with a big one. Use a tiny brush to get to all those details. Okay. I'm going to paint the border. There we go. Remember also, you can pause me and watch me slowly again if you want to get something that you've missed or if I was a bit too fast. Okay. You can even draw a castle that you've seen. Whom of you guys have seen a real castle before? <gasps> Let me know. Where have you seen a real castle before? I've actually seen one, I think, close to us is a little place called Hout Bay. And there's like a house slash castle like up on the mountain. If you drive there, I've seen a castle before. So maybe... We'll some of you guys have actually been in a real castle, even been inside of it. Okay. So let me know that. I would love to go into a real castle, but to be honest, I'll also be a bit scared. I don't know why. I guess they're just these big, beautiful buildings, eh? You don't know what their story is. You don't know who lived there. You don't know what the story was. Maybe people left some valuable treasures there. Okay, I don't know if you guys are seeing how I'm painting a bit more like this and less like this. Sort of gives a bit of a, like a grassy garden effect. Okay, so don't be scared to do different kinds of painting strokes. So I'm doing this for a bit of a texture. Okay, that's my garden with my beautiful roses that you can see. Now I'm gonna paint my path. What color am I gonna paint the path? I think let's go for a bit of orange. Okay, you can also mix colors. You can do anything you want with what you've got. That's the most fun about creating art together, is use what you've got. Okay. Okay, this one I'm actually going to do a straight stroke, look there, because that's like a path. So use that technique to make it more straight. There we go. Okay, let me see what else. That door. Mm, colors. I'm going to make the door yellow. Okay, this is so fun to color in. Okay, I love this awesome Facebook user. If you're using StreamYard, maybe tomorrow if you're joining me, click on the StreamYard link, then I can see your name. Izzy's having so much fun coloring her unicorn and horse castle with a crayons. Also, Izzy, I want to see your picture. We're going to share pictures. 
Okay, I'm painting my door, my big door. And now it's the background. So a little trick with the background. Can't remember who said they're making night or lightning. Maybe you want to make it nice and dark. And if you've used lighter crayons, like over there, okay, you can see the stars. I've used white crayon, okay, which you don't necessarily see if you're drawing. But if you paint blue or a darker color over it, it pops up. Okay, again, that's the color resist, paint resist. So I'm going to quickly paint my background. There we go. And don't be scared to go off your page to get a nice line there. Need some more water. Okay, so also like me, have all your things with you at hand when you're making all your stuff. So have a nice setup. If you want to send me pictures of your setup, yes, if you're joining me today, tomorrow and Wednesday, send me pictures of your setup where you're painting and drawing. Just share everything, your pictures, your setup. I love to know what it looks like there when you're painting and drawing with me. Okay, so look, there's my beautiful background almost done. Let me just get that little bit. So remember, like here, there's still a bit of the blue needed that's sticking out there. Okay, and now my mountains, I'm going to go back to this palette. Okay, guys, look at this castle that I've just made with all of you. Okay, there's my mountains. Painting them in whilst I'm painting them. Guys and girls, please share. Share your photos of your artworks. I'd really love to see. I'd love to be able to comment and see them. So when you're done, you can share them with me. And I would love to see what kind of castle you've made. You can also tell me the story of your castle. There we go. Okay. Because I don't want to be the only one painting. You guys are painting with me. So yes, please share. If, you, if your kids are done, share with me. Send me what their story was that they shared with you. I'd love to know. Let me also know if you've had fun, okay? Probably still having fun because you guys are probably still coloring in and painting. Let's see. That's looking magical, Lily. Love the neon walls. Awesome. Thanks, Christelle. Ryan has never been to a real castle. Well, now you've just made a castle, Ryan. You've been to one because you've made one today. Okay. So everyone, look at my three castles that I've made with you and showed you today. Again, I would say, please share because that's how I get to see what you've done today. And if you've had fun, our first day of our free Draw and Paint Along, tomorrow's gonna be another one. I think it's unicorns, hey? So join me tomorrow, same time, same place, okay? And please, I'm motivating you to submit some pictures because you know why? It's a little surprise. Yes. So if you're going to send a picture of your picture, there's a little surprise that's going to pop up in one of these days. And who doesn't love surprises? Okay. Who loves surprises? I do. Okay. Let me just see. I don't want to say bye. Oh, I also don't want to say bye, but I'm here again tomorrow. Okay, so remember tomorrow again, same time. We've got the times there for Cross the Globe. Also, if you're watching me afterwards, please comment still and send pictures. Okay, awesome. Cool, thanks, guys. So that's me. My tour of my magical castles. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. Again, send me pictures and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, thanks everyone. Goodbye.